Well, a fine uh, good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia and I am traveling for history. I'm here at the, uh, the in Wilson, Vermont, at the Thomas Chittenden Cemetery, also known as the Chittenden Cemetery, or even the old Williston Cemetery. As I understand it, this is the oldest cemetery in Williston. Uh, this is what the woman across the street was saying. She stopped by to talk to me whilst I was filming. Anyway, this is the grave of Thomas Chittenden, right here. And uh, love the top, Memento Mori, right? And uh, this is the whole, the whole uh, headstone right here. Let's uh, let me read the, set, the headstone to you. In memory of His Excellency Thomas Chittenden, Esquire, who governed the state of Vermont from March 1778 to the time of his death, August 1797, save one year. He was born January 6th, 1730. His was a life of usefulness. Let those who read strive to imitate his virtues. And then over here, there is this, which says, War of 1776. Um, no. Over here, that is a memorial to him. And uh, I'm going to walk over there. I'm going to pause this so you don't have to watch me walk. And uh, although there's a nice straight path right there. Hallelujah. Uh, that's a memorial garden as well. So um, I'll be right back. Hang on. And here we are back again. So this monument was authorized by Act Number 151, Laws of Vermont, 1894, land donated by Henry Root, volunteer, uh, volume 16, pages 555 and 556, Wilson Records. It appears to be a likeness of Thomas Chittenden. I just see a root family um, somewhere over in the middle. So that's the state flag represented up there. Of course, 1895 Vermont to Thomas Chittenden, one of her founders and her first governor, born January 6, 1730, died August 25, 1797. I mean, this is a, <laughs> this is a huge grand memorial. You can see all the way up there. And as I come around to this side here, There's the, there's the Constitution up there. There we go. And at the very top, we have a stag head. Cool. Kind of painful, to be honest, to, to do that. And this says, born in East Guilford, Connecticut, a sailor at 18, a colonel of militia, and six times a member of the Connecticut Assembly. Settled in Williston in 1774. Forced by stress of war to abandon his home, he removed to Arlington in 1776. He returned in 1787. At Dorset, July 1776, he helped to shape the first compact in the history of the New Hampshire Grants. He aided in formulating the Vermont Declaration of Independence, delegate to Congress, April 1777, president of the convention, which framed the first constitution and of the Council of Safety, governor, 1778 to 1789, and 1790 to 
I'm going to take a seat over here and uh, read to you a lot more about Governor Chittenden. Bear with me. I actually have a lot to read about him. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, this is a likeness of Thomas Chittenden right here. Thomas Chittenden was a major figure in the early history of Vermont and was leader of the territory for nearly two decades. Chittenden was the first and third governor of the state of Vermont, serving from 1778 to 1789, when Vermont was a largely unrecognized independent state called the Vermont Republic, and again after a year out of office from 1790 until his death. During his first term after his return to office, Vermont was admitted to the Union as the 14th state. As you know from that um, marker there, Chittenden was born in East Guilford in the colony of Connecticut on January 6, 1730. He married Elizabeth Miggs on October 4, 1749 in Salisbury, Connecticut. The couple had four sons and six daughters while they were living in Connecticut. All the children survived to adulthood. Wow, that's like a record. He was a justice of the peace in Salisbury and a member of the Colonial Assembly from 1765 to 1769. He served in Connecticut's 14th Regiment of Militia from 1767 to 1773, rising to the rank of Colonel. Chittenden moved to the New Hampshire Grants, now Vermont, in 1774, where he was the first settler in the town of Williston. In 1777, a convention was held in Windsor, which drafted Vermont's first constitution, establishing Vermont as an independent republic. During the American Revolution, Chittenden was a member of a committee empowered to negotiate with the Continental Congress to allow Vermont to join the Union. The Congress deferred the matter in order not to antagonize the states of New York and New Hampshire, which had competing claims against Vermont. During the period of the Vermont Republic, Chittenden served as governor from 1778 to 1789 and 1790 to 1791, and was one of the participants in a series of delicate uh, negotiations with British authorities in Quebec over the possibility of establishing Vermont as a British province. After Vermont entered the Federal Union in 1791 as the 14th state, Chittenden continued to serve as governor until his death in 1797. Chittenden died in Williston on, on, October, uh, me, on August 25, 1797, and is interred at Thomas Chittenden Cemetery, Williston, uh, here in Chittenden County, Vermont. Citing Vermont's tumultuous founding, his epitaph reads, quote, Out of storm and manifold perils rose an enduring state, the home of freedom and unity, unquote. In 1894, a monument, this, this right in front of us, to Chittenden was begun at the entrance to the cemetery in Williston, which is named for him. It was dedicated in 1896. An engraved portrait of Chittenden can be found just outside the entrance to the executive chamber, the ceremonial office of the governor at the Vermont State House at Montpelier. The portrait is based on the likeness of one of Chittenden's grandsons who is believed to resemble Chittenden. In the late set, uh, 1990s, a bronze sculpture of Chittenden, which was created by Frank Gaylord, was placed on the grounds of the State House near the building's west entrance. Another Chittenden statue, also created by Gaylord, was erected in front of the Williston Central School, Chittenden County, and, uh, which is named for him, as is the town of Chittenden in Rutland County. I have uh, some more information for you from... Uh, it's a governor's Associ National Governors Association, um, which is a dot .org. All right, so, uh, quote, Thomas Chittenden was born in East Guilford, now Madison, Connecticut. He became a justice of the peace in Salisbury, Connecticut, and served as a member of the Colonial Assembly from 1765 to 1769. He served in Connecticut's 14th Regiment from 1767 to 1773, rising to the rank of colonel. In 1774, he moved to the New Hampshire Grants, now Vermont, where he engaged in land speculation and helped to prepare Vermont's first request for statehood. 
When Vermont became an independent republic in July 1777, Chittenden served as a delegate to the convention that framed Vermont's constitution and was elected president of the Vermont Council of Safety. He served as the republic's governor from 1778 to 1789 and 1790 to 1791. After Vermont achieved statehood in 1791, Chittenden continued to serve as governor until his death in 1797. Chittenden's legacy is marked by his role in Vermont's founding and his efforts to establish an independent state government, unquote. This is from, uh, as I said, it was on the National Governors Association site, and uh, the source is the Biographical Directory of the Governors of the United States and the National Encyclopedia of American Biography. And then one more uh, piece is from um, VermontHistory.org, also found online. Quote, Governor Thomas Chittenden helped to write the Vermont Constitution of 1777 and was a leader of the Vermont Republic. He assisted with the transition as Vermont became a state in 1791. Several early houses that belonged to the Chittenden family still stand here in Williston, Vermont. Unquote. Alrighty, well... I really wanted to share with you this information. In fact, one of the two people who recommended that I come here to film at the uh, Thomas Chittenden Cemetery in Williston, Vermont, also suggested that I have a Governors of Vermont playlist. Well, I do now. So uh, you'll find this video certainly on my channel and in that playlist. All right, so as we can see, the sun is setting, the moon is already out and uh, like go that there you go but I do uh, I do appreciate your coming with me today to hear about this interesting man um, and we can see the cemetery here so this is Patricia and I am traveling for history. Until I see you again, you have a fantastic evening. Bye.